<laughs> Don't worry. Paimon will be sure to stay awake next time. Good morning, Traveler and Paimon. Mm. Quick question. Do you feel off at all? Mm, me too. The farther in we go, the closer we get to the source of the ley line effluence. We'll be heading out earlier today. I'll take down the tent. Is there something we can do? Extinguish our fire so we don't set the entire forest aflame. Also, retrieve the pest repelling devices from last night. We don't want to affect the ecosystem here. Got it! Hi, Mom will take care of the fire! All right. Let's meet back here later. All right. It's about time to head out. As we go further in, we may encounter more Berserk machines. The effects of the ley lines will also increase. If you're struggling, it would be wise to avoid conflict. Try to conserve as much energy as possible until we reach the source of the contamination. As I thought, the closer we get to the contamination source, the more mechanical monsters that appear. Quietly now. T take it easy. Game's up. Fun is over. Teamwork is dreamwork. Propagate. Yeah. Spring forth. Yeah. Busted. Yeah. Gotcha. Scatter. Yeah. Wind strider. Yeah. Here comes the catch. Quietly now. Germinate! Into the wind. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night! Game's up. Fun's over. Propagate! Upon closer inspection, the plants here are really different. Leyline energies are also stronger here. This may be the place we've been looking for. Ready yourselves. We're going in. There's a ton of mechanical monsters here. We made this place their lair. Looks like there's no way to sneak by. Let's take care of them quickly. Let's nip that in the butt. 
The wind knows me. Busted. Leyline energy is spilling out from here. This device. It's extracting energy from the ley lines without end. Who in the world would do this without considering the consequences? The ley lines won't be able to repair themselves if their flow is perpetually disrupted like this. That's terrible! We have to stop it! Oh, uh, Paimon C. Uh, oh. Paimon doesn't see controls anywhere! Standing here is equivalent to being directly showered in leyline energy, which may cause irreversible damage to your body. Take Paimon and get out of here. I'll see if I can find a way to turn this thing off. Wait, you're also vulnerable to the ley lines, right? We're staying. We can't leave you here by yourself. <sighs> then let's look for it together. If there is no control unit here, then there must be a trap door somewhere. You know where it is? Hey! Wait for us! Take it easy. What's this? It'll only show up if you step on it? Be careful. And watch your step. Look! Someone's here! Are you the one that's taking the ley lines energy? Turn off that machine now! Why aren't you saying anything? Too ashamed? His body is cold. It's emaciated, and his eyes are sunken. Likely from chronic malnourishment and stress. He collapsed and... Never got back up. What exactly happened here? Oh, almost forgot about you. Here, this is the last one. What is it doing? Hmm, I'm not sure. Judging by this room's layout, this place was a laboratory. We should find a repository of research documents if we keep going. The file room will definitely give us some clues, so let's go take a look. Maybe we can piece together what happened here. This place is a natural hiding spot with how hidden it is. The pipes continue further. Let's head in. Did you two find anything? There are a lot of lab notes, but it would take way too long to read through them all. I found a tape recording used for an experiment, and based on its serial number, it's from two years ago. Tape recording? Yes, the Spontama created a device that visually records experiments and consolidates the final production into a tape. However, these devices are expensive to make and aren't entirely stable. That's why they are only used in some laboratories and do not see wider usage. Come on, let's watch it! Hold on, let me figure out how to play the tape. So there, let's... Ah, okay, this should do it. Kakata? Kakata? Seriously, I look away for one second and you're gone? There you are! Look here, this is our new home. I, Abatui, will unleash my talents here and amaze those ancient fossils at the Academia. Oh? You're also quite happy. Kakata, do you know what we're about to do? 
<laughs> yes, I thought not. Listen up, Kakata. I'm going to make a mechanical life form that can be mass produced. The technology will be unlike anything else that exists. I'll use mechanical organs, and electric currents will course through them like blood. A steel cast heart that will beat forever, and a brain of myriad components that can think like mine. Inspiration from the ruins and the research that the Academia had banned. I hope everything can start anew from this place. When you can understand our language and live among us, you will no longer be a boring machine, but a truly living being! It's fine. You will understand. One day, you will understand me. Karkata is the mechanical crab, right? And that researcher named Abatui said he wanted to prove something to the academia? I remember now. I had a junior researcher named Abatui. He was expelled from the academia for researching mechanical life forms. Junior researcher? Yeah? Well, what's wrong? Nothing. Baima was just wondering... Doesn't Abatui look older than you? He is, but academic progression isn't tied to age. I finished my studies a while ago, so subsequent students generally considered me as their senior. Oh! Of course, age can be an issue. For a while, people always dragged me into pictures. I felt like some kind of animal on display. <clears throat> Uh, that isn't important. Let's go and see if we can find other tape recordings. Into the wind! <laughs> look, look! Paimon found another tape! A date is written on it. Let Paimon see. Oh, it's from a half a year ago! That's quite the time gap. I wonder what happened in between. It's rare that you malfunction because of an operational error. Seems that making coffee is still somewhat difficult for you. Or is there an issue with my set parameters? All right, there you go. Water entered the keela and caused it to short circuit, so it couldn't receive signals from the ganglion. Look at me, talking to you like this. You can't understand me anyway, can you? It's fine. I swapped in some new parts, so you should be all right now. Try moving around. Everything in working order? Be more careful next time. We're tight on money right now, so we don't have a lot of parts or power to spare. I'm glad. Karkata, did you know? Yesterday, I dreamed that you could talk. Aren't the bunch at the Academia always saying things like, Mechanical intelligence is just an extension of statistics. <sighs> they were blown away when they saw us talking with each other. <laughs> Too bad it was just a dream. Forget holding a conversation with me. You're so simple that you probably wouldn't even notice if I died. Never mind. I should probably be worrying about next month's power. After Abatui left the Academia, everyone lost contact with him. I thought he was so despondent that he gave up on researching mechanical life forms. Instead, he had holed up here and continued his experiments. Paimon doesn't feel like he's a bad person. He even changed out Karkata's broken parts. Why would he mess with ley lines? Hmm. Let's keep looking around.
following the serial numbers, the next recording should be here. The writing is sloppy. Perhaps his state of mind had changed. There's also an undated tape in the wrong spot. Doesn't seem like Abatui put it there. Maybe Karkata helped him with sorting. Hmm. It's hard to say. These are the last two tape recordings. Let's watch them. Sorry, Karkata. I was just thinking about something. Today might become a special day. In my recent experiments, I successfully gave you a living being's instincts. When you're low on power, or if one of your parts is damaged, you will prioritize your survival command and proactively recharge or replace your parts. That is a very dangerous thing. And today, I did something even more dangerous. I've officially activated the third generation ley line extractor. The ley lines will serve as our power source from now on. Conducting research on mechanical life forms requires a large amount of power. Even if I scrimped and saved, the more I have wouldn't last for long. I'm also getting tired, Karkata. I don't know what's driving me to continue with this research anymore. They say that even if it simulates the operation of a living creature's organs, a machine is still an ice-cold tool. I want to prove them wrong. I want to turn you into a living, breathing, and talking being. I'm not talking about anything cheerful, Karkata. Modules for language, emotion, and movement. I've been working my absolute hardest to augment and refine your functionalities. But I've never seen an effective response. You are my finest success, but even you can't understand me. All you can do is execute limited responses based on preset commands or keywords. Karkata, I wish you could speak to me, even just once. <sighs> yes, you cannot understand me, so you cannot answer me either. It is what it is. In a few days, I'll sell the failed ley line extractor for some more and continue my experiments. Life goes on, and I have to as well. I don't have any other choice. This is new. If I place another two control modules here to simulate the brain's thalamus... Oh, of course my heart decides to act up now. Why did I cut medication from our expenses? Karkata, come help me. <coughs> Strange. I feel weak. Oh no, I have to shut down the extractor. Shut it off. <coughs> If we let them recharge indefinitely, they'll go out of control. Right. I never input a command to shut down the extractor, so you don't understand what I'm saying. In the end, it's just like the Academia said. Mechanical life forms only bring danger. My research... Was there any point to it at all? I'm sorry, Kakata. In the end, I still wasn't able to turn you... into a true mechanical life form.